gentlemen, I present to you the mayor and the Montgomery City Council for 2024 through 2028. It's Inauguration Day in the capital city. WSFA 12 News carried the ceremony, marking a new term in city government. Good evening, I'm Mark Bullock. And I'm Valerie Lawson. Today, the work officially begins to make Montgomery a better place to live. The mayor and city council members took the oath of office at the Montgomery Performing Arts Center. The inauguration ceremony comes three months after that August election. It's the mayor's second term, and for three members of the city council, their first foray into local politics. Anchor Rosanna Smith was at the ceremony and begins our Team 12 coverage. Surrounded by his family, Montgomery Mayor Stephen Reed took the oath of office. Four years after he became the city's Sir first Jeff black mayor, mayor, Reed laid out the plan for his second right, term. Stephen. Leadership is a choice, not a title. Reed said as Montgomery's mayor, he and the city council have a responsibility to show what Montgomery can, needs, and will be. When a little girl born to the bleakest poverty on the west side, the north side, the south side, and yes, even the east side of our city knows that she has the same chance to succeed as anybody else. <coughs> Not just in the eyes of God, but also in our own. Reed called for unity among all Montgomery residents. Reed said, we are all responsible for creating safer streets, better schools, and more jobs. We want to see less blight. We want to see fewer gun deaths, fewer people injured by violent crime. But this vision of Montgomery has to be more than a dream. Reed urged Montgomerians to pull together to build a city full of opportunity and pride. And we must all focus on the challenge at hand. Not to exploit it for our own personal politics and ambitions, but to solve it, to prove it. And Mayor Reed was sworn in by his brother, Joe Reed, who said it was an honor to deliver the oath of office for his brother. The Bible Mayor Reed used today is the same Bible he was given upon his confirmation at Community Congregational United Church of Christ, which is the same church his family attends. All right, Rosanna, thank you. Following the swearing in ceremony, the city held a public reception at City Hall. And tonight, an inaugural gala will be held at the Renaissance Hotel downtown beginning at 7. And the three new council members sworn in today are District 2's Julia Turner Beard, District 4's Franetta Riley, and District 7's Andrew Zemanski. Our Julia Avent spoke with them and has more on what they plan to do as soon as they get to work. The three new members on Montgomery's City Council all have two things in common. They say they're excited about this opportunity and they are ready to get to work. I'm ready to go to work. Julie Turner Beard is filling the shoes of Brantley Lyons and her father, Billy Turner, who served the same district for three terms. I'm just ready to carry on this legacy and get this um, party started. My entire family is here. My pastors is here. Um, even my godfather. The stage was full of supporters when Councilwoman Fernetta Riley took the oath from her sister. Riley succeeds Audrey Graham, who served one term. Because it's time for us all to get to work and unite everybody. It's time to unite our council, our mayor, so everybody's able to work together. I'm originally from Northeast Massachusetts, so I'm not a local Montgomeryan, so to have people come, I have some cousins come out from California. Newly sworn in Councilman Andrew Zemanski is also a local business owner. Zemanski says the council has been welcoming to him and the other newly elected members. Councilors that are, are returning, the incumbents have been so wonderful in embracing uh, the new councilors, and, and we've been talking about some of the things that are of immediate need. her district parks. So just to reiterate what I just said, I asked all the council members what they plan to do their first day in office. Uh, Beard says she plans to revamp all of her parks in her district. Riley says she will speak with her homeowners associations to see what they can get done. And Zemanski says he plans to make sure there is a safety plan for the homeless for the upcoming winter months. Now. All right, thank you, Julia. After today's ceremony, the council voted on its leadership. Councilman C.C. Calhoun was elected president and Councilman Glenn Pruitt was voted in president pro tem.